Roots of Indiana. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Thank um, you. Sen Senator Leahy's bill would prohibit the NSA from collecting phone data from, from entire zip codes or cities. He wants our spy agency to focus its investigation on those it actually suspects. What's wrong with that in your mind? You know, we're both, I think, trying to strike this balance between protecting Americans' privacy, uh, which needs to be protected and is constitutionally uh, required to be protected, and also having the tools necessary to uh, identify those who want to kill Americans, use terrorist attacks to do so. This program emanated out of the uh, post-911 uh, committee. Uh, it is a program that has effectively stopped uh, a number of terrorist attacks, and it doesn't listen to anyone's phone calls. What it does simply is identify a, a phone call that is being made to a known terrorist individual or terrorist organization, and that comes up through the computer as, oh, we bought a look at this, but they have to take that evidence to a judge first to get approval to do so. It's just like the police saying, you know, we've got some suspicions about this person that uh, collecting guns or making bombs uh, in his uh, uh, home or in his basement, and they go well, to a judge to get a warrant to search well, sir, the property to see if that's really true, and that's exactly not, what this program a, does. It's not exactly like that because the NSA has the ability to to hear something, right? You know, in space, and then they collect oh, all they, of this data, and then they they go through and they can collect all of this data without a warrant, right? No, they, what they have is the ability to match a phone number to a phone number that is, is known to be a part of a terrorist organization or held by someone who is identified as a foreign intelligence person. This has nothing to do with these things that happen in America where the lone wolf uh, makes a decision to do something that's not connected to a terrorist organization, a foreign terrorist organization. And then, on, only then, they cannot get the content unless they take it before a judge and get approval to then look at it and search to see, is there something bad going on here? We're trying to balance the privacy, not listening to anyone's phone calls. It would take 300 million people to listen to the billions of calls we all make every day. There's no interest in that whatsoever. But we do want to know if a phone number is calling a phone number for a terrorist in a foreign uh, country. Uh, that may be plotting to do harm to the United States. And with this ever-growing threat that we're having from ISIS, uh, we need these tools. Now, this has more oversight than any other program. The Intelligence Committee, those of uh, which I serve on, those of us that get up every day and look at these terrorist threats, know the American people uh, want us to do everything we can to prevent this from happening, another 911 or something even, even worse. And well, so that's our fairness, challenge, and trying to find fairness, that balance is what's so the, the necessary. Way, the way the NSA operates, it, it didn't stop the growth of ISIS. That that already happened. It didn't stop any of. It didn't stop Americans from being beheaded. So Senator Leahy might argue that you know there's evidence that collecting all of this data doesn't help anyway. Well, look, I mean, uh, you, we use our U.S. military and military forces to stop what uh, ISIS is trying to do overseas. This program is designed to stop terrorist attacks against Amer foreign terrorist attacks from Americans here in the United States. It uh, has the most oversight, both executive branch, judicial branch, branch and congressional branch, uh, of anything, uh, any uh, program that the government has. And we have passed a comparable bill in the Intelligence uh, Committee. It was supported 11 to 4 on a vote. The chairman, Democrat chairman, supported it. The Republican vice chairman supported it. It keeps in place a program that can keep us from these attacks, but it also affirms that we are not listening to people's calls and we have, uh, it's illegal to do so. We just think that the Judiciary Committee's bill goes too far, dissembles the program to the point where it's ineffective. And I think we do have a charge to protect the American people while recognizing their rights of privacy. And we think our bill is superior to Senator Leahy's judiciary bill. Senator Dan Coates, thanks for being with me this morning. Sure I appreciate enough. it. I'll be right Good back. Good talking to you, Carol. Thanks.